Hi, Jackson here at Song Mentor. Well, today I'm just absolutely delighted to be able to offer this free lesson to you. Uh, it's The Beatles' Help. And if you're uh, old enough, you remember probably where you were when that movie came out or what stage of life you were at. What a fantastic uh, soundtrack from that film. Songs like uh, Ticket to Ride, You've Got to Hide Your Love Away, I've Just Seen a Face, uh, I Need You. Just a, just a barrel of great songs coming off that LP. And one of the one of the best was the title track, Help. So I have it for you here today. It's a free lesson. Come visit me at Song Mentor. I think you're really going to love what you see. Here's Help by the Beatles. All right, let's talk about the chords you need for the Beatles' Help. You need an open A chord. You need a C sharp minor bar chord. F sharp minor bar chord, an open D, an open G chord, you need a B minor bar chord, and you need an open E. And that's it. Those are the chords you need for help. All right, let's talk about the strumming pattern for help. There are two distinct strumming patterns. The first one is during the verses, and it goes like this. Okay, so it's picking the root note, which in this case is an A. Strum, quick hit again, and then a quick up down. So it's pick, strum, pick up down okay the second strumming pattern is for the uh, the verses or the chorus I should say and that's more of a straight ahead pick strum pick strum pick strum almost polka ish chords there with little runs that I'll show you in a moment. Okay, so those are the two strumming patterns for the verse and for the chorus. Okay, there you go. All right, let's learn those little connecting notes that uh, join the chords together in the chorus. The notes are B, A, G, and then G, F sharp, open E. Okay, so B, A, G, G, F sharp, open E. When you insert them into the chord progression, So what we're doing there is we're picking the B note and strumming, and it's that polka-ish kind of strum. And then we're just lifting the finger up off the B note, which is the bar finger. And we still strum once. Strum with the B note, strum with the open A, switch to the G chord, G note, F sharp note, still strum it, G note, Open E. And that takes us back into the arpeggio. Okay, there's your little connectors in the chorus. All right, let's talk about that uh, little arpeggioed progression down that brings us into the first verse. Play that, 
we're going to put our first finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string and our third finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string. We're going to pick down on string five, string four, string three, and you happen to notice there that string three is the same note at the moment as string four because the we're on the fifth fret of the fourth string. But then we're going to pick up on the second string. Okay, so looking at the picking hand again, we've got down, 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 and up on the second. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slide those two fingers down one fret at a time. We're going to go from 5, 7 to 4, 6 to 3, 5 to 2, 4. Okay, we'll practice that a few times. And end up on the A chord. And just as a little tip here, I'm using a very, very flexible pick. Um, I don't always use a, this flexible of a pick, but in this case, for this type of arpeggio, it does help. Okay, there's that little arpeggio. It's going to come up a few times in the song. Okay, time for a partial playthrough. Let's, let's do the intro and a verse and a chorus and get that far. See how we do. Help! I need somebody! Help! Not just anybody! Let's do some fine tuning here. Um, one of the things that I want to show you is that when you go into the third and final verse, which is a repeat of the first verse, um, what we're going to do is play single strum chords there. It takes the song back a bit. That's what the Beatles did. It sounds really nice to do that. So um, it, it goes like this. When I was young, so much younger than today, I never needed anybody's help in Okay, and then the second half of the verse is But every now and then I It goes back into the other part But just for the first half of that verse That's a really nice fine-tuning touch Okay, the other fine-tuning point is, uh, is the end of the song And so at the end of the song We're going to, coming out of the chorus We're going to go to the arpeggio to finish it That's an F sharp minor and an A at the end. Again, arpeggio. All right, just adding a little vocal in at the end. That's a wrap. The Beatles help, one of my faves. Sure hope it's one of yours as well. Come visit me at songmentor.com. You're going to love it. <laughs>